everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. Also, thanks to those of you tuned in on the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is another dose of your daily vitamins. Please come in giving this video a like and a share. Okay, you know they have the Queen Shadow Band. Okay, so let's talk about it. This story is clearly crazy. A grandmother was a fugitive for a whole month. She went on the run after a hit and run where she hit her 18-month-old daughter. Now she pulled up and the child was excited to see her. And so the child ran outside and was killed by her when she hit the child. And like I said, this woman didn't stop to give any type of aid or whatever. She just fled the scene, okay? She fatally struck her granddaughter Eleanor Campbell, 18 months old, with a vehicle and sped from the scene, according to police. And so after almost a month on the run, she's been arrested, okay? Uh, the grandmother wanted for allegedly killing her daughter, her toddler granddaughter with a vehicle uh, was finally captured, okay? Cops in Jeffersonville, Indiana, have been looking for Lisa G. Teach, uh, 51 years old, uh, since June. Now, it turned out she was across the Ohio River in Louisville, Kentucky. Police announced her arrest on Facebook. They say she was taken into custody Friday afternoon on the Jeffersonville charges and also outstanding warrants from Kentucky. In her granddaughter's death, she is charged with failure to remain at the scene of an accident resulting in death. She is also accused of a probation violation in Indiana for unrelated charges of resisting law enforcement by using a vehicle, a possession of a narcotic drug, okay? Criminal recklessness. Reckless driving at an unreasonable high or low speed so to endanger safety and possession of marijuana. She had all of these charges. Now, this is a grandmother. She's a whole criminal. Detectives from both sides of the river have worked tirelessly since the incident to bring Lisa Teach to justice. Uh, they say information was developed that led detectives uh, to the 200 block of Glendora Avenue, where they located Teach and one of her family members, uh, Joshua David. And uh, he was there with her and they arrested them without incident. Both are in custody on unrelated outstanding warrants. What kind of idiotic relative was helping this woman? She's a whole criminal. And she took the life of her own grandchild so callously and fled the scene, didn't try to help, wasn't even concerned and you're gone for a whole month. This is all real crazy. Now the victim, Eleanor Campbell, 18 months old, died at Norton's Hosp Children's Hospital from her injuries. Uh, she had been at the Motel 6 on Hospitality Way in Jeffersonville on June the 16th with her mother, Cheyenne Allen, and her mother's boyfriend. Now, speaking before the police, um, speaking before the police, they identified Tish as the suspect. Allen told the outlet that Ellen darted out when the boyfriend opened the door, so excited to see her grandmother. Little did the poor child know that her grandmother didn't care anything about her. And after she hit her, just simply went all about her business uh, to evade law enforcement. Okay, didn't stop to see if the child was going to be okay. Didn't even call or anything. Like, that's real crazy. The toddler ran out in excitement to see her grandmother. And this is what they say. They say Alan said that Eleanor reached the parking lot before she could stop her. After being struck, the driver sped off. She said, I ran for the driver's door. Then I stopped myself because I knew my daughter was lying there dying. Teach was also wanted for probation violation. Uh, Kentucky Corrections records show that convictions for theft by, law, by unlawful taking or disposition between $500 and $1,000, as well as receiving stolen property between $500 and $1,000, and theft by deception between $500 and $10,000. Like I said, this woman, I believe she's on drugs. This sounds like someone who's on some type of drugs, okay? Uh, she says, my daughter didn't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. Now, the family has a has a GoFundMe page for Eleanor's funeral, Um yeah, it raised $2,100, $2,135 as of Monday. And the goal is $5,000. So they only have $2,135. And they're trying to pay for this child's funeral. Uh, Tish remains housed at the city jail in Louisville. It's unclear if she has retained an attorney. They need to put her under the jail, okay, just for being so nefarious. How do you hit anyone's child and just flee the scene? let alone your own grandchild who was running out to greet you because she was so excited. This is really sad. And it's absolutely sad and deplorable. Uh, but with that all being said, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. What would make 
a grandmother do something like that? I mean, she has all of these previous criminal charges and all of these warrants and things. And, you know, just from judging from the the um, crimes that she's committed in the past, she sounds like she's somebody who's on meth or something like that. Okay, clearly someone who did not need to be around this child in the first place. Anyway, I'm glad that she's been caught. And uh, the family member who was aiding her, well, I'm glad they're they were taken to jail as well. Okay, so everyone, please like and share this video. And please drop me a comment, like I said, to let me know what you think about it. Until next time, beloveds, I will talk to you all again soon.